Hello. In this video, I will show you an upgraded version of ZB2L3 battery capacity tester in which the heating issue of the load resistor is resolved by replacing the dual stock resistors with a single one that can be mounted on a heatsink. In this way the heat across the load is reduced which will eventually result in extended life of this module. In my previous videos, I have shown you how you can use this battery capacity tester to test the capacity of any battery. If you haven't seen my previous video then check out the link in the description. Since this module comes with two 7.5 ohm value resistors which needs to be connected in parallel, so using the resistance parallel formula we can see that the actual load resistance turns out to be approximately 3.75 ohms. And by using the Ohm's law we can see that for a lithium-ion battery with a peak voltage of 4.2 volts, the maximum current on this load will be approximately 1.12 amperes. So, the power dissipation across this load resistor is nearly 8.4 watts, which is higher than the power rating of the stock resistors. By searching a suitable resistor online, I found that the nearest value I could get near to 3.75 ohm is 3.3 ohm resistor which will draw approximately 1.27 amperes current. And its power ratings should be above 8.3 watts so a 25 watts resistor will suffice. So now we will get rid of the stock 7.5 ohm resistors and replace it with single 25 watts 3.3 ohm resistor. I bought this resistor from AliExpress. The metallic body of the resistor along with its holes will allow me to mount it to a heat sink for proper heat dissipation. So, after mounting the new resistor on the heat sink, it was time to solder a pair of wires across its terminals. Attach the lithium ion cell holder and the new load to the module in order to test its performance. For the test I will be using this Murata 18650 cell. And after configuration of the module, we can see that the test process started without any issue. And during the whole test process the temperature of the resistor and the heatsink remained lower than the temperature of the previous stock resistors. So all in all, I will say that this modification should be considered by those who are using this module very often for testing the capacities of different batteries. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And until my next video stay safe, stay inspired and have fun.